Hi everyone, welcome to my channel ICT Active Learners. Today I am here to explain Cambridge IGCSC ICT 2021 May June Paper 2 to presentation part. So in this part of the question, they mention that you are going to create a short presentation. Our slides must have a consistent layout and formatting unless otherwise instructed. Slides must be formatted to display a title and bulleted list. So create a presentation of six slides using the file J2122 rules and then place in the footer your name, center number and candidate number. The footer must display on all slides. So I will open here the PowerPoint and then we'll open the file J2122 rules.rtf. So other presentation, file, and then desktop, all the files, and I need to choose the file rules.rtf. This is the one. So it comes with six slides, yes. Then after they mention, we should have our name, center number, candidate number in footer of the our uh, slide. So first of all view, then master slide because they said on every page, so you need to go to every page, file, and then print. Here we have the header and footer setting. So footer and then your name center number and your candidate number that's it apply to all slides now go back so this is done so they want this one in the header and in only in the footer that's it on the slide with the title transition demote the last three bulleted items so they look like this so we will click on close and here we have the yeah transition yeah competitor must the last three ones should be like ability list so it look like it may look like this they said so you can change the bullet of these ones to for example a different bullet or any other type of bullet like if you have or you can just simply customize and you can use this one as your list just like that next step is to Change the layout of the slide with the title common penalties to a title and table. Common penalties, yes. Layout, you need to change it to title and table. So click here. So table and title and table content. And then after create a table that contains four columns and 13 rows copy the data from this okay we just click here with four columns and number of rows 13 that's it a table is created then we need to open this file table.csv this is the one and we need to arrange this one in such a way so our data can be copied easily and fit it into yes just like this and here it is So it is one, two, three, four columns. Yeah, the data is in four columns and then within 13 
uh, rows. Fine. Let me just cancel this file first of all and we are going to right click here to change this file because I feel we have lost some data here. So just say copy and paste and then rename it with txt file extension and we'll click on excel here to open the excel app and we will open the workbook we'll open the file as we have they have mentioned results results dot csv and i have changed it to sorry table dot ext first step to select from here european window and comma and semicolon next and then just click on finish that's it now the data look like this now it is perfectly arranged so we we'll just copy this data from here copy and then we will just or better to go line by line column by column just copy this one and then just select this column and then paste it yeah and then after this data need to be copied from here and we'll paste it over here and this one just copy and paste it over here and then the last one copy and then just paste it over there like this fine let's move forward format the table so that a plain table starts applied with no cell shading fine we'll just click here select our table with uh, no shading we have to choose from here uh, for example without any shading they have mentioned yeah so we just need to uh, remove the shade from yeah so choose the table and then say no and borders all borders that's it and then they said all little borders are explained insert two new rows on the first two rows of the table insert the two new rows as the first two rows in the table so we need to insert here above right click insert or we just need to click here insert row above and again insert row above two then after enter the text as and format row 1 and row 2 so it look like this so what I need to do is I just need to select them right click and merge cells and then I just need to type here data conduct and then I need to here yeah, sorry control Z because we need to only merge these two right click merge cells and then I'm going to type here conduct and these three need to be merged right click merge cells and type of penalty type of penalty and then stop and go stop and go and then time 
and then disqualification this qualification and then it should look like this so let me just select the font size 18 that's it then the data must be in center spelling mistake should not appear and then alignment text at the middle as it is and then it should have a shade of um, some background here for these on the select them right click and then we need to choose the option from here a shade of for example this one or little lighter maybe you can do that just by right clicking and then choose the lighter gray color that's it adjust the column width so data in column one is displayed on a single line so we need to adjust now so the data is displayed in the first line yeah we can just simply arrange this one properly arrangement is required so your data in the table appear on the and then the table fit on a slide with all data visible fine we'll move the table little bit up and we even increase the fine size of the data even for example to 14 make this column more smaller and this one also yeah and data is fully visible here now and then they mentioned here save the presentation so we need to save the presentation and then we need to print it and that will be the end of uh, presentation part so just uh, we'll check one more time if there is anything uh, missing with the table here i think so everything is perfect except it is over lapping here so we just need to make this one smaller from here so the data is clearly visible yeah we just need to make this one smaller disqualification yeah now if you want to make any other change you can even do that and then next step is just to print out so we will print it out uh, our data in the presentation as they have mentioned that print all slides in the presentation as two handout with two slides uh, on the page each slide filling half of the page so we just need to click here file and then we need to click on print and then we have to choose the option print slides or we just need to full slide and two sides so half of the page is filled by each slides two slides per page and that's all from the presentation part of this question paper so thanks for watching and hope you have learned how to deal with the presentation part of the Cambridge question papers so thanks for watching and please subscribe the channel for more videos and updates